Heavenly Father, I come before you on behalf of the Solomon Islands, and I ask you to have great mercy upon those islands, Lord, and all the people there. I pray for the political leaders there, that they would rule and reign in a fair and just way, Lord, and that they would submit their life unto you, Lord, and to do justly and to have mercy and to walk humbly before you, O oh God. I pray for the economy there, Lord, that an the opportunity would be made available for everyone there, God. I pray for the educational system there, Lord, for every child to have an opportunity, God, to uh, have a good education, Father, and the churches there, Lord, have a great opportunity to reach 40% of them children that don't have adequate education now. We thank you for the great history of revivals that took place in the Solomons, Lord. We thank you, God. They go way back to 1935 and to 1970, but I pray for a fresh wind to blow, Lord, because we all get stale from time to time, and I ask you, God, to shake the churches, Lord, that they might preach the Word of God with boldness. You've done it in the past, oh God, and you can do it again. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You do not change, Lord. We pray for all Christian ministry and every denomination there in unity to take place, Lord, amongst those, Lord, that are preaching the solid Word of God, that are standing upon a good foundation, that they would work together for the purpose of evangelizing that nation and reaching more and more people, God. We pray for those affected by the civil war and the hurts and the uh, the discontentment there, Lord, and the division and the strife that some of those things would call, Lord, and we pray for a healing to take place on the back side of that, oh God. We pray for the fragmentation of ethnic diversity, Lord, and and the day would be healed and, and the Christian ministry there, God could bring healing and unity back to that situation. We pray for the nominalism, oh God, for churches that just become perfunctoral and just go through the duties, Lord, and become an organization instead of a living organism, oh God. I pray that they would be absolutely empowered by your spirit, that they could come alive again, Lord, that you would breathe on them one more time. Give them every tool that they would need, Lord. We pray for local and grassroots ministries, oh God, to spring up. I pray for ministries that work amongst the poor and the needy that would be your hands and be your feet and that they would be doers of the word and not just hearers only. For you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten son. I pray that they would give their very life for the cause of the gospel, Lord, so that men and women would be introduced to the Savior, the only son of the living God, and that they would enjoy eternal life, God. The Bible translations, Lord, there's still a 25%, Lord, of that country that needs the word of God translated into their language, and I pray for that to take place, your heavenly Father. We thank you for the radio. We we thank you for the Christian hospitals and clinics and for all missions, God. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in the Solomons, Lord. We thank you for what you've done in the past and what you're going to do in the future, Lord. I pray that every need would be met for the ministries that are working there, God, and resources would be made available to accomplish the dreams and visions that you put in their heart. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.